everybody, and welcome to the Philbin Files, playing the ferret business. We've made some progress. My, my money-making machine continues to continues to make money. That's a good thing. I've got, got a little something here to show you. I made another compact machine, and as you can see, it's getting power, and it's dropping stuff out into um, some barrels. And what it's going to be doing, make sure I've got what I need here. Yep, okay. So I need, grab this, and we'll go in here. And what I have in here is a, um, it's a mob grinder. It's not a very, probably not a very good one. There's probably a dozen ways to make it better. Um, at the moment, these guys are off. I will turn those on in a second. But, so here's the deal. These are um, powered lights, and that's what's, being powered in this room. That's the only thing that's being powered in this room. These powered lights, I'm hoping, are enough to keep the spawners, these guys, from spawning things when I'm in here. So when I want to come in, I connect the power from the outside, they get power, and everything's happy. Because I'll leave this on, because that's also controlling these fans that will push the mobs to these wooden spikes. And I should if, if this turns out to be inefficient, I'm going to probably add some more, you know, up the wall and stuff like that. And then, I think I turn that off for a second. Got a vacuum hopper, dumping to a chest, because I couldn't get the vacuum hopper to connect to this and send it through the stuff. So I've got just a little chest here running things through. And what we're going to put here, let me turn those lights back on, and then deal with the danger zone here. All right. I have my Enderman, and let's move the axe, and I have blazes. I've been, I've been opening up the blaze thing just out in the middle of nowhere so I can get a few, um, oh, power went out. Oh, that's another interesting problem. So while I'm in here, power actually isn't coming in through the system, it's like the, the outside world deloads. So let's go back out. Let it power up again. So I might need maybe a battery to charge things up, but I for other things. For this particular one I don't want that because I want to be able to turn that off. So we'll go back in. Now that it's yep, oh, oh, oh. come on, come on, go that way, go that way, go, come on. There we go. Okay. Alright. So now the lights are back on. Alright, so I want to put one here and put one there and then when I turn out the lights hopefully they'll start spawning and let's get out of here I wish I could set the point at which I come in I'd make a little safe spot to come into and that would be um, because it always just drops me off in the middle so now I can turn off the power, like so, and just put that in here. Oh, I upgraded this to blue cable because I wanted this to be blue, because why not? Let's go ahead and throw that in there. And now, so I've already tested if there's something in that chest, it will flow through to these. But the question is, when those lights finally go out, will that actually give me stuff? We're going to see. So one thing I know about this is that they are, um, they're chunk loaded. That the, the, the little chunk that they're in is loaded all the time. What I don't know is if, so it's, it's also, it's always got light. I, I, I have not yet put a torch or anything in any of these, and they just, they have light. They're not dark. So what I don't know is if it's going to actually, even if the lights go out, will it be dark enough in there for them to spawn? So I guess we'll see. This, this may not work. I thought it would be a cool idea, and so we're, we're giving it a try. We'll let that sit for a little bit. Um, let's see. Over here, so you saw my dolly was damaged. I made, um, I had to get a couple of blaze rods for these things and get these awkward potions. Oops. And yet another. 
Alrighty. And now with the awkward potions, we can make was it you? Yep, there it is. The universal seed. Nope. Oh. Yep, okay. So I need some of these. One, two, three, four, five, five, six. Sure. Now we can do. One. Oh, we're out of. We only really need two at this point. The next thing we need is the gem infuser. And that's what takes. That's this one. Uh, soul sand. Do I have soul sand? I have soul sand. Aha. Apparently not much, though. Alright. This guy is what takes the universal seed and the f what w the thing that we want to make and we want in this case certus quartz do I, I I'm gonna not have enough am I because I think it needed 32 I need to go buy some more um, I need um, some of these do 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 and I'll put this on the hot bar and I'll click on that and we go to the store. Yep, 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 yep. Hardware No. Hardware. There it is quartz. Pick one. Manually submit. Go ahead and get two of those. And now we can do this, and that should give us what we need here. Infuse. Yep, there we go. Oh, you're kidding me. Um, that's not what I'm looking for. going to be the seed. Certus Quartz Crystal Seed is 32. Oh, that that's just not right. Blaze. A blaze seed is blaze. That's just wrong. That's not working either. I don't know what to say to that. I feel annoyed. Anyway, um, I do, I guess, eventually want blazer rods anyway, so, um, let's go ahead and plant it, I guess. Um, for now I've got an autonomous activator, I've built the powered sand and built a little thing here. It's an interesting texture, I don't remember it looking like that in Pathfinder, but whatever. Um, so if that's not going to work for Certus Quartz, though, I don't know what the heck is. Um, this obviously isn't working. Either that or they're all floating above. Hmm. Do I try Adventure Time? Let's try Adventure Time. Let's hop in there and see what's there. Okay, so I gotta... Come on. Nope, nope, come on, this way. They're not spawning. So see, there's just too much light in here, I guess. <sighs> well, that's disappointing. Um, go ahead and turn that off. <sighs> All right, so this isn't going to work. Well, darn it. I thought it would be a cool way to use the, uh, the space. Oh, well, um, let's see what else. So I'm going to have to do something about that, and I'm going to have to do something about why, why did that, yep, I'm going to need the, uh, 
vacuum hopper to start catching that stuff if I don't want to waste it. Might as well just use this one. <laughs> yep. Pickaxe. There we go. And go ahead and grab this. All right. And I'll deal with the rest of this later. I mean, I guess it's nice that they're lit up already and you don't have to worry about it. And at the same time, it's kind of annoying because it breaks what I want to do with it. Um, all right. We'll just do this for now. Um, oh, come on. So I can see what I'm doing. And I think it's... Is it that one? No. It's not that one. It's that one. All right. So now it'll pick stuff up and toss it in there. Blink. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna get blaze rods, I guess. That'll be that'll be nice. Um, do I try again and get another blaze? Do I? I'm, I probably have to hit the forums and figure out what to do with that. Um, yeah. That's that's annoying because that was sort of my plan for this whole thing was blaze rods and pearls. Ender pearls come there, there, and this was going to be just a short little line of these things that seem to grow pretty fast. I will have to make the refiner that does that. All right, I'm going to go do some searches and see if I can figure out what to do about the Certus quartz. But at least I can still buy them, I guess. Yep, I can still buy them. That's annoying. All right. Be right back. Back, and I did a little research, and it turns out that most of these seeds are are messed up. So they would, you know, tens more. Oh, excuse me. Come in my base and kill me. Did I leave a hole somewhere? I didn't leave a hole anywhere. I think it's all glass. Hmm. Well, fine. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I've got some holes down this way, I know, but whatever. <clears throat> so anyway, the the growing stuff with crystals, I think for now, is going to be put on hold until that gets fixed. I may experiment with this a little bit, because if I can use Certus quartz to get essentially blaze rods. I wouldn't have had if I had known that. I wouldn't have had to gone into the uh, the Nether hunting for that one blaze spawner that I have here that doesn't work anyway. Well, it works. It just doesn't work inside the compact machine. I'm gonna have to do something different with that. What I think I'm gonna do. Simple hide gold shard. Yeah. Okay. What I think I'm gonna do though next is. I wanted to work on a little bit of storage because well, let's let's go in there and take a look. My storage drives are are gonna fill up, and especially if I do like a lot of um, get some things going to where I have a lot of extra stuff coming in, big piles of oh I don't know charcoal and things like that these things here aren't going to really be able to keep up. So what I'm th thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to add a wall over here with a bunch of barrels. Let's just get some barrels. Oh, and I have I have a new kitten that's attacking my, my mouse cord here, so hopefully she won't unplug me in the middle of this. Doo -doo -doo. All right, let's see. Um, what did I do that for? I need you. Let's see, let's put you two up there. I don't need the sword in there because, as we've discovered, nothing will spawn in there. I'm sure it's meant to be a feature. Um, so let's see. I want, well, I want barrels. And we'll start with the three. Oh, I also wanted to start on crafting. I had 
started some of the, the storage and, and things like that. But right now we're going to do um, new storage. And what we want to do is um, it's a storage storage interface I thought um, pattern storage it's one of these blocks ME storage bus I think is the one we want so it's a piston and an ME interface essentially so we can go doink and apparently we need both kinds of pistons and okay so let's Grab that. Well, I have nothing I need for that. Grab that. Okay. Well, that's a little better. Wow. Okay. So we have some stuff here we need to craft. All right. So we need this. We need one of these. Do we have? All right. We're missing. My goodness. All right. That's not what I need. I need this. I need this. Information core. I need a logic processor which is yeah okay so let's grab let's grab a bunch of oh we're gonna need more of those as well um, do, 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 that's the silicon and then we need logic like that and we're gonna need gold this is one of the first things I want to automate is the making of, of these things. I gave it the office. Alright. Alright, so let's see. Logic, gold. I should also make some speed increasers for these. Those are speed. Do, 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 do. It's not that one. No. I'm not seeing the ones I think I need. It's not those. Those, those. I don't know which ones I'm looking for. Okay, well, never mind. We'll just continue this for a second. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. That's. I should probably go offline and do this yeah. behind the scenes. Because this. Could take a little while. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yep, I'm gonna be right back. Let me finish this up. Oh, go in there. Okay, so we are almost done with a bunch of logic processors. We'll go put those back. Do, 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 do. And now we can. two formation cores. Let's make a total of four. And then we need um, it's, I forget the name. Annihilation. Annihilation core. And we get Oh, did I run out of Fluix? No. Okay, what did Annihilation core need? Annihilation core needs fluix dust. Grr. Yep, this is why I want to automate a bunch of the. Come on, crafting. Do 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 do. Zag mill. Let's just. Give me enough for now, and you can finish the rest later. And okay, so now we can do an interface. An interface. Emmy interface. 
is that one, two, three, four. How many will it We got four now. Okay. And then we need storage, bus. Oh, here's the upgrades I need. Capacity card, fuzzy card. In. Is that right? Mm. Maybe. They're the right shape. That's the shape I was looking for, but they're not upgrade cards. Interesting. Okay, storage bus. Get back on tack. We need some of these. Okay, so we apparently need some pistons. Do, 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 do. Do. Okay. And now we can do a couple of these. Three. And now we can do some of these. Ooh, all right. More fireworks. Uh, limitless potential. Okay. So now we're going to go in here and set that up. Oh, I'm. Um, now, one of the things I was doing was trying to figure out where cables and stuff were going. Um, so storage was sort of going off this direction. And you know what? I didn't bring any cables with me. I need that one, and that's not going to be enough. Um, let's go get some cables. Do do do. You know, I should I should put a battery in there, and a um, and an interface in there as well. That's probably what I should do. Blue. Or do I want to use? I don't know if I need the. Maybe if I do the dense cable over to where the stuff is going to be. How does that work? Okay. So, for now I'm just going to come straight down. Figure out how this is going to look nice later. And then, what I want is... Put that up. So... This here can go like that, and then like that, and then if I put that, no? Do I need to, do I need to put you down first and then give you an interface? No, I don't want you in there, that's, that's just dumb. Okay, and then I can do this. There we go. And that's still only using one channel. Interesting. Okay. No. Let's go this way for now. And then we can do... And then... Now. Stop that. Shift. Shift. Okay. Oop. Device online, device online, device online. And now we're using three channels. See, I thought that would be using one channel. Okay. So now we got to decide what's going to go in here. And for that, we go back out here, and we see what we have the most of. Do, 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 do. And we can do that by sorting by number of items. And we have, well, we have lots of lapis. We have lots of redstone. And, well, no, we're never going to have a whole lot of that stuff. But stuff like gravel and dirt. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Well, this is an example anyway. I can always figure out how, how I want to do it later. Okay, so let's grab... Let's grab some of these bulk items that are just always going to be a pile of stuff here. Do, 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 some dirt. We're, we're growing some wool. Let's... Well, let's do... Gravel, dirt, and 
and that's always going to be using cobble. We'll always have cobble over there. I need to figure out how to deal with that. Um, andesite. Yeah, let's just grab wool and go work on the example. Now, I can put, first up, I want this to have wool. And then I think I set the priority pretty high. And then I can put wool in here and then lock it. So that's all that ever goes in there. Now the trick is that this wool is always, the stuff that's in here isn't going to do anything until I actually move it. So I need to do the same thing here. You are dirt and priority. Probably don't need quite need to make it a thousand, but you know what the heck. All right, you are gravel and a thousand gravel lock. Okay, so now those are all one block or one stack each. And if I've done this right, when I go back out here. If I had thousands of these, I would probably do like an import-export bus and spin the particular item through the system so that it would be pulled out of the drives and into those things. But we've got... Okay, let's go back to... Okay, so we want gravel. Let's get all the gravel. And then put it back. And then we had dirt. It went in there. Okay. Dirt and the other one was wool. Oh, got wool seeds. Okay. And now, if we go back in there, I think we will see appropriate levels here of this stuff. So now I don't have to worry about the disk drives getting stuffed up and in fact I think this one here went back to green instead of orange so these here will have less getting getting them filled up so I'm gonna set this up like maybe you know up against the wall here or something um, so I'll have rows of um, the barrels for the, the really big the bulk items and then all of the little stuff goes up here and then I have one other storage problem yeah so I'll clean that up later one other storage problem in that these drives will start to fill up with all of these single things all of this now, I do want to make a disenchanter and disenchant these and then smelt these down for whatever for whatever they're worth. Um, some of these can be used for crafting, but not much. But, I mean, I'm never going to use leather boots. You know? So, so I'm going to see what I can do with, with all of this stuff next. I don't know what... I don't remember what storage is really good at singular items. So what I think I'm going to do is, at least for these weapons and stuff, I, the first thing I'm going to do is disenchant them and then deal with what it is. But I think I need... Can I, can I make a disenchanter now? Disenchanter. So there's this one, and then there's this auto disenchanter. This can only be purchased in the shop, but I can build this one, in theory. Ooh! Really only need plastic sheets? Yeah, okay. Well, let's see what we got here. Yeah, we can do this. Because if I only need plastic sheets to build the disenchanter, I can get that going. And it's going to come out as get raw plastic, but then if I do, is it, no, yeah, so raw plastic, 
Let's see. P L A S T. Plastic sheets is that. Yeah, okay. So now I can do disenchanter. And there we go. One disenchanter. It's going to need some power. And since I'm not going to be able to use this stuff up here, or walk apparently, maybe if I put it in place of one of these. Yeah. There we go. It's got power. So I, th this one, I think <coughs> I need to load books into it. Yeah, I'm going to have to remember how this works. But you put the thing in here, it does the work, it does the idle, and I think I need it a book for it to dump to. Do I have books? Let's just, let's just give it a try manually before I start setting up item pipes and stuff. Come on. I have books. Some books. And then let's go back to this here, and we can grab... Um, one of these was Silk Touch. I've been wanting a Silk Touch pick anyway. So item goes in, book goes in. Um, and there it goes. Wow, that sucks up a lot of energy. That's gonna... That's... Hmm... My, uh, my leadstone isn't gonna keep up with it there. Alright. But that's working. And so what that's gonna drop out now is it's gonna drop out... Oh, it's got... I don't want that. Okay, so I'll figure out how to make this go. But there is one silk touch. Oh, I see. Okay, Re so repeat means that if it's got multiple things on here, it's going to make... And then I just need something to pull the books out. <coughs> but there's silk touch, which is good. Oh, and that's another interesting thing. Okay, so this has a ferret. Ma this has a ferret value of a thousand, whereas this doesn't intrinsically have a value. Cool. So I could just disenchant things and make uh, make some profit on that as well. Okay, I just want to watch. Yep. Okay, so that's gone. It looks like it broke, so it it went away. All right. I'm going to figure out how to automate that for the next episode. Um, did a little bit of storage, and we were highly disappointed about our compact machine there. I mean, I guess I don't want creepers and stuff spawning inside here while I'm wandering around, so it would be a good feature. But I did want to turn it into a mob farm. That would be a nice, compact way to deal with that. Oh well. So anyway, um... I think that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on The Felvin Files. Bye-bye.